Now, the pit's where we ask ad agencies to convince us of things we wouldn't normally be convinced of. In the year of Edward Snowden's revelations that the NSA spies on the emails of ordinary Americans, we've all been left wondering, could it happen here? And should it? Tonight, we've asked two agencies to convince us the government reading our private correspondence would be a good thing. Can they do it? Please welcome from freelance creative team Trolley Rogers, Cam Trelope, and from Fenton Stevens, Alex Fenton. Welcome. Cam, how did you hack this one? Well, we thought people don't really see ASIO in the same league as the CIA. So we leverage that to make people feel safe about the kind of agents that would be on the job. Let's have a look. This is Jim. He works for ASIO, reading your emails. Jim's a computer. He doesn't judge what you say or what you're sent. He won't spill the beans about your mistress in Bentley or millions in Barbados or that you didn't at Grandad's car, committing him for dementia because he claims he couldn't remember it. Jim doesn't tell your boss 80% of your emails are funny cat pictures. And the closest he comes to a ruffle is when people bump into his desk. No, Jim doesn't care how you live your life. But if he reads something that could take it away, he alerts real people who can do something about it. ASIO. Securing Australia's future, millions of emails at a time. Good job. Well done. Good job. Alex, where did you find the password? Well, we tapped into one of the most basic of human instincts, and that is uh, fear. Oh, let's have a look. No one noticed him buying a pressure cooker. No one noticed him picking up bags of fertiliser. He bought a soldering iron and digital timer, and no one noticed that either. And no one thought twice as he photographed a train station at peak hour. But when he sent an email to a radical organisation, ASIO noticed, and he's been on our radar ever since. The most dangerous virus that can spread through Australia's email system is terrorism. That's why ASIO scans all emails for suspicious messages. ASIO. Australia's antivirus. Good job. Good job. All right, Russell, which of the two did you prefer? Well, I'm very conflicted. I think they're both fantastic. I think Cam's, I thought that was outstanding. I love the idea of, you know, personifying the computer. But I am going to go with Alex. I just think that that extra fear maybe is what did it for me. Um, Adam? How good were they? They were amazing. I love both of them. I'm going to give it to the first one with the, the lock screens kind of and the claustrophobic feeling of kind of coming into the computer. Carolyn, which one did you prefer? I think they're both excellent, but I'm going to go with the first one purely because Australians don't seem to respond to fear well, so I think Australians would respond better to the first. And Todd? Uh, I did appreciate the 1970s computer in the first one, but I think some ads warrant humour and others don't, so I'm going for the second one. And that means it's a tie, I believe. I'm going to have to split this in half. Good on you. Here we go. We're going to have half each. <laughs> Fitting result, I think. That's how our panel saw it. You can have your say on Facebook or Twitter or file an FOI request to find out what the government says you think. <laughs> Gruel and Planet, better value banking.